What's up everybody? This is Mike at iPrize Marketing and today I'm going to show you how to put galleries onto your WordPress site. The first thing you want to do is open up a new page or post and then we can start building out our gallery. All right, go back over to the plus, click it, and scroll down to media and find gallery. Now if you can't find these for some reason you can always type it into the search here. We're looking at gallery, so we're going to hit gallery, and that's going to load our gallery here. All right, let's upload another image or two to create our gallery. And we will pick this one, this one, and this one. Okay, so you can upload a few of those. Now, again, these have been sized to be a little bit smaller than the original, so they're the largest size is 1,200. You will see these load. And you can hover over any of these. You can add captions if you would like, right here. And we're going to start from the beginning here. This is the symbol for your, your gallery. This is how you would like your gallery displayed on the page. Let's do that. Um, let's do the full width today. All right. And then we have this add button. Now, if we want to add some more images, which I think we should, we just click on that. And it's going to say open media gallery. So let's go there. This is your media gallery and you're going to see check boxes next to the images that are already in your gallery. So I'm going to pick a couple more. This one, I'm going to pick uh, this picture of food and this guy and that drink. All right, so I'm picking some images that are all different sizes. We'll hit add. Before we do that, let me show you this. Now over here, I just want to show you when you're uploading photos, be sure to fill in the alt text again, which is um, a description that is good for um, people with visual challenges and also search engines. So this really helps people to know what your photo is really about. Also add a title, a caption, and a description. You don't have to display all these things, but this is going to help your images be found um, on the web. So once you're done, go down to the bottom here and click Add to Gallery. Here are all, all the images that we have in our gallery. Now, you can move these around. Just slide them so we can have all our food pictures on this side and our landscapes here and we have a drink in the center. All right, hit Update. And here we have a very basic gallery. So I've chosen um, nine photos that can all be represented here. Now at any time, if you wanted to replace one of the images, just simply click on it and hit replace. You could also do the cropping. If we go over to the other side, just like with images, you're gonna have default, which is our squares, or you could have rounded. And so it can do it for each one, or you could do one here and one there. If we want to change the radius again here, we can adjust it there. And so you get more of a sort of square with rounded edges as opposed to um, something that's more rounded. So all very similar, but you get the idea. Now let's say we want to change this entire gallery into something different than this. So maybe something a little more interesting. Go to the top and hit select gallery. And that, you might have to hit it twice to bring this up. And that's going to bring up all your image choices again. So let's hit this one here, the tiled gallery. And look at that. It does something very interesting. Again, you can center this or make it bigger or smaller. Look at that. Pretty cool. And then you can also come over here and do the rounded corners. And you'll see that it's slightly rounded. Let's go extreme so you can really see it. So now everything is rounded. Let's just take a look at this center picture here. All right. So if we want to select one, we can come over here and also do some other things. So it gives you a, f a few different options. So right now we're using tiled mosaic. We can also do circles and it'll change everybody to circles, which actually looks really good. Square tiles which is kind of what we had before. Tile columns, and it'll just kind of divide things up. So you can see how this would give you 
um, some very interesting looks. Now, you're going to see these little handles here. You can move this one. You can move things around. So let's go click on this photo, and we're going to move it to the right. And so it goes over here, and it's like, oh, it won't fit there, so it puts it back here. So let's play around with this just a little bit. We'll do the square tiles, and you can see how it would work. We can just keep moving this mug around. I don't know if you can grab them and drag them. You can't. Now, the other option you can do is when you're in here is add, figure out how many columns you actually want. So watch this. So you can really kind of mess around with this and make it pretty interesting. And so we have nine. So that's very boring. Don't recommend it. But looks good. Looks very good. Once you're done, you can go up to the top and hit publish and this is what you will see on your website. Now if it's not exactly what you want or it's too small or it's too big, just adjust it. Just go back in and make it a little bit bigger or make it a little bit smaller or rearrange it however you want. Let's take this same gallery that we've created. So we're currently on the tile gallery, which is this little symbol here. There's one other I want to show you is slideshow. So this will turn all these images into a slideshow. So all you have to do is hit it and it's going to turn it into a slideshow. Now it has these two little handles at either side and then they can just scroll through at their leisure and check out all of your cool little photos or big photos or photo photos. Okay, so the other thing, if we go back to this side, has a few different um, things that you can do. You can have autoplay, where it will just start playing automatically. And every three seconds, you can adjust how fast it's doing it. So if we did it every one second, it would be like really kind of cruising along there. That might be hard for them to watch. But every three seconds isn't bad. And you could also go down here to the bottom and hit fade. And we'll just see how that looks. So a slight transition there instead of sliding. And that's kind of nice as well. One feature that might be nice is if they had a way to control how fast that was fading. Or maybe we can do our transition here. Actually, we can. There we go. So now every five seconds it would do that. Down here, you have the image settings. So let's hit that. Right now, we're currently on full size. And again, you can make it very tiny, medium, large, back to full size. It also gives them the option to cruise through like this. If you need to add more images to your gallery, down here at the bottom you can hit upload an image and that's going to open this up again and then you could choose what image you wanted to load and just choose your file. We already did it, so we're good to go. That's it, guys. If you have any questions on putting any of this stuff up or uh, anything that I might have missed, please leave me a comment below. Please uh, like, subscribe, and all that jazz. I uh, appreciate you guys, and look forward to uh, seeing what you make. Bye.